Again, welcome to another episode of Class Books with Shah Mish. Let's get into our study time for this Monday, August 19th. We're going to the word from the uh, Life and Spirit Study Bible, 2 Samuel chapter 13. That's going to be the only chapter I'm reading. We're going to hear the verses in chapter 13 of 2 Samuel. Verse 1 it says, In the course of time, Amnon, son of David, fell in love with Tamar, the beautiful sister of Absalom, son of David. Amnon's Tamar, that means a series of narratives in chapters 13 to 22 are mainly accounts of the fulfillment. Of God's purpose to bring calamity upon David. Because number one, chapter 13 recorded the first result of David's sins of lust, adultery, and murder. The incest of murder broke out within his own home as David's lust was first reproduced in his son, Ammon. Two, because David destroyed the happiness of Uriah's house, God destroyed the happiness of David's house. So many times, God lays upon the transgressor great suffering and sorrow so that he or she, as well as others, might fear God. And turn away from sin. <laughs> Verse 21. When King David heard all this, he was furious. David was furious. That means that David was very angry at the rape of his daughter by his firstborn son. Yet he could not bring himself to rebuke and punish Amnon as he should have. David's own sexual immorality with Bathsheba weakened and undermined his ability to discipline his sons and manage his own household. Since David was now above reproach himself, he lacked the authority of moral courage to rebuke his son. His own poor example destroyed his moral influence with those under his care. Under the new covenant, leaders in the church must be examples of holiness so that when they rebuke sin, they need not fear any examination of their life. That will reveal a compromise of God's standards as revealed in His Word. Verse 28 says, Amsalom earl his men, listen, but when Amnon is in high spirits from drinking wine, and I say to you, strike Amnon down, then kill him. Don't be afraid. Have not I given you this order? Be strong and brave. Strike down Amnon. Strike Amnon down, then kill him. It means God permitted Absalom's vengeance to punish Amnon's crime against Tamar. At times, God uses human sin to achieve his purposes, punishing one, another, one wrongdoer through the sin of another. Verse 36, as he finished speaking, the king's sons came in, wailing loudly. The king, too, and all his servants wept very, very bitterly. The king wept very bitterly. That means that after Absalom killed Amnon, David was grief-stricken. David's agony is a result of God's chastisement has no parallel in biblical history. But God permitted sin and Satan to inflict great suffering on him. Though David was forgiven by sin, forgiven by God, excuse me, though David was forgiven by God, and did not suffer eternal punishment for his sin, Nevertheless, the temporal consequences, both natural and divine, continued unabated until his death. The actions of Absalom and Amnon were only the beginning of the calamity that God brought upon David because he had despised God and his word by cruelly killing Uriah in order to conceal his sin with Bathsheba. All right, so that's it for tonight. We'll be back with chapter 15. Be back, chapter 15. Okay. Chapter 15, that'll be it. That'll be it for tomorrow's show. So the same chapter 15. Like the Spirit State Bible. So that's it for tonight's show. Till then, talk to you tomorrow. Chapter 15, second same.